Bite Size PL, professional learning you can consume during lunch or on a dog walk or while you drive to work. Our goal is to provide meaningful, engaging, and brief conversations for educators. I'm Kate, and I have a very special guest today, Danielle Summers. Welcome, Danielle. Thank you. Danielle works with me as the uh, the professional learning supervisor. Did I get that right? You did. Uh, you work with me, and I still have to struggle over it. And I am so excited to have her here today. We are going to talk about Davis School District's R and R conference that we held in June of this year. And first of all, it was awesome. So we're excited to kind of review it today and get some highlights. But before we do that, what does R and R what does R and R mean? Why the R and R conference? Well, Kate, you asked the question of the century. I can't tell you how many times I've been asked what R and R means in the last I don't know six months because <laughs> R and R originated last year, twenty twenty one. Um, after a really hard year of teaching. And so we wanted it to be a rest and relaxation type of experience for our teachers. We wanted to stick with R&R and just expand off of that idea. So we added reignite and refocus and any of those good words that start with R so that we can continue to use that because it really focuses on what it is that we want to provide our teachers, which is a chance to come together and find an opportunity to reignite their passion for learning and for teaching. That's awesome. Rock and roll, yeah. all the all the great, which it did have, I will say, a really great 90s theme, which I appreciated. Yes. I really appreciated that. Tell us a little bit about the nature of the conference and, and who attended. Okay, so this conference is a two-day conference. It is hybrid, so we offer an online and an in-person option. We had about- That's good to know for next year if yes. you want to attend online. Absolutely. Side note. We love- um, to offer the option for people to participate in the conference from the pool side or as you're walking your dog or if you're at home taking care of kiddos, we like to offer that as an option. But the in-person experience, we had about 800 people this year and about 300 people online, um, which was a really exciting number for us. It was a lot of people, um, but we had great presenters from across the district, from out of district, experts in the field to come and share some of the very best things that they've learned in their practice with all the educators in Davis School District. And we had, you had like certain categories that you were focusing on, correct? Can yes. you tell us what those were? Yes, we had several strands. We had a an SEL strand, an equity strand, um, technology, personalized competency-based learning strands this year. To kind of focus that learning yeah. on, some, on some highlighted things. And we had a great day before activity, which was new this year. That was a really fun night for us. Just an opportunity to have a social evening with your teacher friends and colleagues. We came out to the Catalyst Center, which was a fun opportunity to get people into that building and see all the neat things that they have going on there. And we had J-Dogs come and serve up great hot dogs and fries. We had live music and just a lot of fun opportunities to meet and chat. We don't ever, it seems like we don't have enough chances to talk with our teacher friends and colleagues. So that's what we wanted to do. Especially from other schools and things like that. Well, that's awesome. So fun. Lawn games. I mean, come on. Drones. Drones. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) We'll just throw that in there. It was great. (laughs) Um, Well, I'm excited because thanks to our producer, Tom, we have some excellent footage of some of the great keynotes and the great sessions that were offered. And we want to give listeners just a little taste about what this conference was like and some of the highlights of this event. So set the stage for them, Danielle. All right. Farmington High was filled with educators and administrators from across the district seeking to acquire and refine their professional skills. Attendees were welcomed by cheering students, colorful balloons, and upbeat 90s music. In the auditorium via pre-recorded messages, young students from across the district introduced the speakers, Superintendent Dan Linford, comedian and actor Scott Christopher, Utah First Lady Abby Cox, and prospective teacher Sarah Fry. We can smile through it. We can choose to just stay positive, to be cheerful. The governor and I, we see you. We love you. We honor your sacrifice to do what you're doing. And we want to be a part of your community that builds you up and makes sure that you have what you need. We believe every DSD team member is intelligent, skilled, cares about doing their best, and wants to improve. They spoke of the significant and important impact that great teachers have. Our students need their teachers. 
Our students need their teachers to care so much. And I don't say this lightly. You make miracles happen. You change lives in, in all the important ways with instruction and education, no question. For some students, you may be all they have, and they look up to you so much. So just think about that powerful uh, mantle that you hold to, to inspire a, a generation of, of people. Teachers describe how the skills learned at the conference will improve their individual classrooms, particularly what they learned about student anxiety from educational author and researcher Jessica Minahan. I really liked the keynote speaker this morning because a lot of the things that she brought up I can really use in my classroom with a lot of my different students. That we have to manage the anxiety before we can manage before we can manage behaviors and kind of figuring out um, how to work with those students that are dealing with anxiety. She really made it applicable to behavior in classrooms for everyone. Teachers in Davis look forward to R&R &R all year long and enjoy attending with their teacher friends and colleagues. Yes, I love all the different perspectives and just like sharing ideas with everyone and updating and improving my teaching craft and getting new ideas. And also describe some of the practical skills and tools that they will be able to use. So I just went to the Canva course where you learned about using Canva and I um, coach track and cross country and I'm always creating flyers. And I need, to, I need to get the QR code on the flyers, so now I know how to do that. I really liked the, um, the Adobe Express class. I learned okay. a lot about some really neat stuff that I can use in my classroom. I'm going to use, um, it's a reading app on Teams, and it helps with fluency. And so I'm going to use that with my third graders. Canvas tips and tricks. Awesome. I liked all the different options that were available, just different choices and different areas that you can pick from. Among those options were a variety of courses, teacher leadership, sowing seeds of change, and get your game on. There are leaders in every building, and finding a way to utilize them in a way that helps the school as a whole can be super powerful. It is our diversity that brings beauty to this world. And it is my goal, it is my mission, that we create that climate especially here in Davis. So we use gaming in our classroom to drive our instruction, our content to get students to buy in, but we also use games to build relationships, which is so key, especially right now. Kara and I are firm believers that that first week of school should be fun. Yes. Make your classroom a place kids want to come. The conference is a great opportunity to refresh and recharge for a new school year, a chance to reconnect with friends and colleagues, and to walk away a little better as an educator. Danielle, thank you so much for those highlights. It was such a wonderful conference. Jeanette always likes to say about great conferences, like, I just want to be fed. And I know many of our listeners who may have attended or may not have attended are wondering how they can access the resources from this conference. Can they? Yes, absolutely. All sessions, including a few of our keynote sessions, were recorded. They are all online on stream now. We just got them up last week. Um, so you can easily find them by going to the Davis District homepage, type in r, &R Conference into the search box, and it will bring it right up. You can also find last year's videos. So if you want content from r, &R 2021, you can access those, but you also have this year's. Are they um, titled like with the session, yes. the topic? That is so great to have those resources there to kind of use at your leisure and, and find the topics that you want to revisit from last year, from this year, or visit new that you're wanting to learn about. So that's awesome. Yes. And, you know, there are so many sessions to listen to and to watch. I just was watching one just a few minutes ago, and I immediately wanted to start taking notes. So have a notebook, have a pen right by you, and be ready to get some great ideas for next year. One of the things I love about this conference is that the presenters are Davis District, mostly Davis District teachers who are showcasing something they do really well. I mean, that's really great. Yes, we have such a huge collection of amazing expert teachers in Davis, and we need every opportunity to highlight them and the great things that are happening in their classrooms and hopefully expound on that in 
across the whole district with all of our teachers. Oh, absolutely. Speaking of that, I know that this year you sent out a form kind of requesting applications to present. Um, is that something you'll do in the future if people are kind of interested in becoming involved in this event and sharing the wonderful things they're doing? Yes, we would love to bring in as many teachers as possible who are interested in presenting early spring. Watch your email from the DSD Professional Learning Account and that form will come out. We would love to have you submit an application to present solo or with a team member or a team of people, we would love to have you come and present for us at r and It's a oh, great experience. Awesome. Well, I love that we're going to continue this event and more people can be involved and showcase the great things that they're doing. All right. We always like to end our episodes asking our guests to share a gift. So do you have a gift for our listeners today? I do have a gift. If you are a Davis County native um, and you're familiar with the city of Bountiful, one of my nice. favorite soda shops has opened on 1500 South and Main Street. It's called Thirst. And nice. my highest recommendation as far as the beverage to get or to try <laughs> is called the April O'Neill. I prefer it in the diet form. So Mountain Dew, pomegranate, and fresh lime. And pair that with a side of pretzel bites and it you will have a magical day. Oh, that sounds delicious. So I need more pretzel bites in my life. So thank you so much. Thank you for being here, Danielle, and for that great review of the r r conference. As always, thanks to our producer, Tom, for making us sound so good. Thanks for joining us. Please like and subscribe and share the podcast with others. See you at school.